Hey guys and welcome to another short video where we'll talk about a button a lot of artists actually don't really like in ZBrush and it's about the exporting group button and I will show you where you can find it. So when you have your project open you can just go down and then here you have the export menu and you can see here is the group button and like I said a lot of people don't really like this button because it can cause a lot of troubles for exporting meshes into other softwares so we normally turn this button off and I will just show you why so for example I had this problem a lot in the past so let's see we have here one mesh from the cat. I just um, z rare meshed it a little bit so I don't have too much polygons on here. But when you have, for example, a low poly mesh and you want to import it into another software, um, then this can happen. So I just uh, exported it as an OBJ and then I'm going into Maya. And you can see here now that the whole mesh is just split it into so many pieces and it's really a struggle because you have to select everything and then you have to combine it again and then uh, you need to delete the history and then you have to uh, select all the vertices and then um, put it all together so it's one mesh but all these steps are just a time waste because we can avoid that. So when you have this group button on, then this can happen because the mesh can have a lot of these different kind of um, parts. So it's actually split it up when you're exporting it out of ZBrush and importing it into another software. But when you turn it off and then you export it, I'll just show you that we import this one when we have the group off and you see it's just one mesh so it's not split it at all and yeah this is why this button is so um, actually unnecessary I think you can use it for some things um, but most of the time we don't need it I had the problem especially when I imported the subtools into Substance Painter and it caused a lot of troubles with baking. So uh, I didn't know why this was happening but I found out that it is because of this group button from ZBrush. So keep that in mind um, that you have to turn off the group button when you want to export your meshes. So Another thing, when you just click on other subtools, they all have the group button turned on. And for example, when you have a project with, I don't know, 50 uh, different kind of subtools and you need to go to every single subtool and click on this button, this would be oh, such, a, such a waste of time, right? So. To avoid that, there's a simple trick we can do. Um, when you're going here to the script uh, menu, you can go to load and then you can load one of the text files I shared with you in the post so you can download this, um, this script here. You can open it and what happens then is you get an extra um, menu here under the export uh, menu for the group. So when you open this you have like two buttons here disabling all groups and enabling all groups and what does it do? It makes life so much easier. So like I said before when you're just clicking on all the subtools the group is on but when you just click here the disabling all group button it will automatically turn off all the groups and this is so so handy like I said when you have a character 
with uh, 20 different kind of sub tools and you don't want to make it by hand click uh, turn off the group button um, for every sub tool then just use this uh, script because it just um, save a lot of time for ungrouping all of the sub tools at the same time um, and yeah so please keep in mind that when you want to export a mesh or different kind of meshes into another software um, then just keep in mind that you have to turn off this group button so it will it will uh, help a lot with um, solving problems and it's definitely less work uh, to make all the different kind of pieces uh, stick together again so yeah i hope this helps and like i said the script um, you can find in the post um, which i wrote under this video so i hope this helps and happy sculpting <laughs>